Security is only one of the concerns as North Texas prepares to house 2,000 unaccompanied children. Fox News' Natalie Salise here now with the day's developments. Natalie? Well, Clarice, health concerns, as we heard, a big part of the equation. The feds kicking off a media blitz in Central America, telling kids and parents there to stay put. If the flow continues, we could see as many as 90,000 kids crossing the border by the end of the year. It's a serious problem. People are being badly affected. U.S. Congressman and longtime physician Michael Burgess returning last night from visiting a federal holding facility on the border in McAllen. They took me into the, into the property room where they take things from people who are picked up. It looked like a locker room at a fourth grade class. It was a whole wall full of pink backpacks and little cubby holes. This is not the thing you expect to find on your border. Burgess says he considers the children's arrival in Dallas County a potential public health threat, raising concerns of infectious disease like tuberculosis, but his main concern, the long term. The difficulty this time, it is the pressure in that pipeline. And if nothing is done to interrupt the pressure in that pipeline, there's really very little. You can't set up enough centers. Today, U.S. Border and Customs Enforcement launching an aggressive Spanish language campaign in Central America and U.S. cities with high concentrations of Central Americans, including Houston. Billboards going up in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala with 6,500 public service announcements running on TV and radio in those countries through early September. Governor Perry says that doesn't go far enough. If you want to stop these young people uh, coming up from Central America through Mexico, I would suggest the diplomatic uh, reach with foreign aid into the leaders of those countries and basically say, you will engage uh, in stopping this traffic coming up through your country. And if you don't, this foreign aid is going to stop. That is a boycott I could support. County Judge Clay Jenkins also touring a McAllen facility this afternoon. Now, he has said that they are moving fairly swiftly in this process with the goal to bring the kids uh, to Dallas County in the next few weeks. Now, as far as the health concerns, the children will go from the care of the Department of Homeland Security to Health and Human Services when they arrive in North Texas. A spokesperson says they will be examined and vaccinated as necessary. Now, if it's determined that a child has a communicable disease, they are then quarantined in a special facility but no specifics on where that will be just yet. Clarice? And Natalie, what about that main shelter? Have we heard anything more about that today? Well, Jenkins uh, said that would come yesterday or today. Still a few hours left in the day, uh, but so far no word yet. And we do know that they've been looking at 12 sites, so we, may, we could still hear later on. And we just showed people what happened in California yesterday with those three border mm -hmm. buses that were blocked by protesters. What about security when the children do arrive in Dallas County? Well, we've been trying to get answers to that all day. The Dallas County Sheriff's Office says it's been contacted but remains on standby. Uh, Dallas police deferred to the county. I then reached out to uh, County Judge Jenkins, uh, who's been the point person in all of this, trying to find out what coordination his office is having with the federal government. But as I mentioned, his team has been in McAllen today, and so far, no response. Clarice? Comprehensive coverage, Natalie. Thank you.